Hi, I know you're getting bombarded with emails and videos about how to protect yourself and your family from what's going on right now. Uh, I'm here in my home office today, as I know many of you are back at home. Uh, my children, we did a little homeschooling session this morning and uh, we're making the best of the situation. But I wanted to give you a little update about how this is affecting the real estate world right now because you're probably not getting that information from anywhere else. And I've been actively monitoring this. My company has been actively monitoring this. And this is what we know right now. First off, interest rates are really low. The feds lowered the interest rate to zero last night. Now that does not mean that mortgage interest rates are zero. That also does not mean that mortgage interest rates are going down. The mortgage interest rate is not directly tied to the federal interest rate. However, mortgage interest rates are the lowest now than they've been in many, many, many years. And if you're thinking about refinancing your home, I encourage you to reach out to your loan officer. And if you need a referral to one, let me know. If anything, just take a look, see if it makes sense for you. And if it does, hey, something to work on while you're hanging out in your home office. So interest rates are really low. And what that's going to do is help spark demand, I think, in the future when the dust settles and we get back to our new normal, whatever that may be. Today, as of about 11 o'clock this morning when I was driving and listening to the radio, the stock market was down 8%. Can I tell you that one investment that you have did not go down 8% today? And that is your home. Historically, homes have gone up about 5%, 3 to 5% a year routinely. We had two recessions when home values went down dramatically. Those two were the Great Depression and the Great Recession. Your home value is not tanking like the stock market. You made a very good choice when you decided to buy your home. It is doing well as an investment for you. My philosophy is making sure when you buy a home, not only are you going to live there, you're going to be quarantined there, but it's also an investment for your future. I foresee later in this year, or maybe next year when the dust settles, I think people are going to be more inclined to invest in real estate. And I want to encourage you, if you are thinking about investing in real estate in the future, if you want to learn more about investing in real estate, or if you want to offer your home for sale, or if you want to offer it for rent, or if you want to buy something as an investment, or even for yourself to uh, live in, please reach out to me and I'd be happy to share the information. Um, there are many advantages in a real estate investment that you don't have in a stock investment. So an example would be uh, somebody renting it from you, uh, the tax advantages, cash flow, things like that. I will continue to monitor the market, the real estate market for you and keep you posted. If I see anything starting to go sideways, I'll be sure to let you know. But I wanna let you know that I'm in this with you. Again, I'm here in my home office today. Kids are uh, doing schoolwork right now and we're gonna make the best of it. And I am here to help you out if you need it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.